Switching to a non-last-click attribution model is the first step towards optimizing for better account performance. The second, equally important step, is to act on the data from your non-last-click model. Non-last-click models give credit to all clicks throughout a customer's conversion path on the search and shopping network. After transitioning from a last-click to a non-last-click model, it's common to see a shift in conversions from desktop to mobile devices and from branded to generic, non-branded keywords. This is because mobile devices and generic keywords are often undervalued on a last-click model. For example, think about the journey of purchasing a new mattress. You first conduct a generic search for best mattress on your mobile device during your commute. You later search mattress in a box while at home. You eventually find a branded mattress that you like, search for it, and then buy the mattress on your desktop. On a last click model, your non-branded searches that led to clicks on mobile receive no conversion credit. Whereas on a non-last click attribution model, all search clicks across the conversion path receive credit. This data allows you to make informed decisions on what to optimize for. How exactly conversions shift after changing attribution models is dependent on your customer's conversion path. Longer customer conversion paths will see larger shifts in conversion credit, while shorter conversion paths may see smaller changes. Once you've updated your attribution model, your conversions column will now reflect your new non-last click model when new conversions occur. You can then use this data to optimize for which touch points drove the most value for your business. There are three recommended actions, adjusting targets or bids, testing new keywords, and re-examining campaign budgets. The recommended bidding approach is to adopt smart bidding in Google Ads. Smart bidding uses advanced machine learning to help you tailor the right bid to each and every auction. Smart bidding is most powerful when paired with non-last click attribution, since it optimizes bids for your customer's entire conversion path. If your account is not on smart bidding, and you'd like to use it with your non-last click attribution model, you can make this change instantaneously after changing your model. Since conversion credit will shift under your non-last click model, it's important to adjust campaign targets to this new data. When adjusting your targets, consider your conversion time lag. The time lag report shows how many days it takes the average customer to convert after their first click on your ad. If the average conversion time lag is about four days long, exclude the most recent four days from your reporting. After an attribution model change, look at the conversions current model and cost per conversions current model columns to set your new target CPA or target ROAS. The cost per conversions column shows what your average CPA or ROAS is for your set time period. The cost per conversion current model column shows your average past CPA or ROAS under your selected non-last click model. This column shows you what your new CPA target should be so that your model change has no impact on your overall investment levels. In this example, target CPA should be adjusted based off the current model CPA. If you use manual bidding, use the new conversion data as your source of truth for optimization going forward. Invest more in keywords that perform well under the new attribution model. After adjusting campaign targets or bids, think about testing new keywords. On a last click model, some keywords may have been paused or deleted due to low conversion volume or a higher cost per conversion. On a non-last click model, these keywords may receive more conversion credit and should then be tested. Since conversion credit may be distributed across campaigns, it's necessary to re-examine search and shopping campaign budgets. You can use the search lost impression share column to understand the percentage of time that your ads didn't show due to insufficient budget. If a campaign is exceeding its performance goals or meeting its targets, increase the budget to capture as much demand as possible. For more step-by-step -step videos on Google Ads implementation and optimization, check out the Google Ads tutorial on the Google Ads YouTube channel. If you have any questions or for more information, please visit Google Ads Help.